Spectrum Health Innovations is very exciting to me, and it, it is for a lot of reasons, but the main one to me is that we've got these incredible knowledge workers throughout the system, the 3,400 providers and the 24,000 employees, and they come up with great ideas every day. Well, who's there to collect those great ideas? Who's there to see if, in fact, it can be something to improve what we do or what others might do? We're here at Spectrum Health Innovations to help make that process a heck of a lot easier for our colleagues. We provide the resources, the expertise, the contacts to help make that process more feasible to move from that idea phase all the way to something that can make it into our patients or doctors' hands here at Spectrum Health. When someone has an idea, our whole team is built around helping that person move their idea forward. On our team, we've got clinicians, business folks, engineers, and beyond that, we have a whole pool of folks in the community that can help move those ideas forward. So we're all about trying to help make that process as easy, pain-free, and successful as possible. Ideas come into our team generally one of two ways. First off, there are a lot of really smart doctors, nurses, therapists, clinicians, and other colleagues here that have a lot of great ideas for new opportunities for Spectrum Health Innovations. They can get in touch, submit their idea through our website, through our email address, through a phone call, or just reaching out to catch up for a cup of coffee. But also we try to be proactive as well, so we do a lot of observations, brainstorming sessions, interviews to try to uncover where those opportunities are for promising new technologies and products for healthcare. So I have the privilege to work with clinicians across the organization. They bring their expertise to the table. We help them bring their ideas to life. Spectrum Health Innovations engages all employees across the organization to participate in SPARK sessions. These sessions allow us to tap their talent in really diving into the opportunities that we want to explore. And ultimately that leads to better outcomes for our patients. Mary Tibby is a clinical practice associate in our medical ICU. And one of the problems that she is facing is reducing catheter-associated urinary tract infections. In the process improvement event that we were working on, we looked at barriers to removing catheters faster. And one of the barriers was the alternatives for females. And that kind of gave me a light bulb moment. And that's kind of where I went from there and brought it to Spectrum Health Innovations. So we started an adventure with Grand Valley State University and it's really a collaboration. And so this project started in the fall of 2015 with a group of engineering students. The winter semester of 2016, we took that prototype one step further and we actually were able to come up with a finalized version of a prototype that we were able to file a provisional patent on. Through the design process, we've, um, we've been meeting with Spectrum Health Innovation staff um, every other week and we actually present to them what we've come up with between our meetings, so that way it's helped us develop the product to be something that we know will be functional. So I think the product that we have now is actually a great product and I'm looking forward to moving it through. I had been at a nursing leadership meeting and Scott came and talked about Spectrum Health Innovations and really invited any ideas. It was even at that meeting that I was thinking about this. And she noticed that there is this huge problem with unplanned extubations, which is any time a patient either pulls their own breathing tube out or it just happens unexpectedly when you're transferring a patient or any time the patient moves around. And she said, there's really no good solution to this. We have these tube holders out there, but they really don't prevent the problem. So there's got to be something better we can do. Right away, I could see that Eric had some thoughts that he wanted to work on, that he wanted to go back to the lab and put those thoughts into, into motion and see if there was a way that he could design a, a solution for the problem. In order to solve this problem, we completely redesigned the breathing tube holder. And instead of looking just at a way to prevent unplanned excavation, we expanded the project to also prevent pressure sores and other issues with these holders. But first what we did is we rethought how to actually hold onto the breathing tube. So what we did is we put a flange or just a little clip in front of the flanges on the breathing tube holder that makes it physically impossible for the patient to pull it out. It's incredibly simple, but it's incredibly effective. I think that it will benefit our patients. I think it'll keep them safe. I think that from a staff perspective, it'll help both the nurses and the respiratory therapists feel safe and confident that their patient will be able to be ventilated. The idea that I came up with was related to patients that are on dialysis and they have what's called an AV fistula, which is a connection between the vein and the artery for them to be able to do dialysis. Unfortunately, those veins often need what we call venograms, which is where we inject the dye 
to look for areas of narrowing so that we can treat them with balloon treatments. This device is a sheath used for venograms during treatments for patients with, that are on dialysis. And what it does is it allows blood to go in both directions by blowing up the balloon. We can then inject out the end, but there are also small holes before the balloon that we can inject and allow blood and uh, dye to go backwards. This device provides significant benefit for the patient because it decreases the time of the procedure and decreases the risk of rupturing the AV fistula. And for the provider, it decreases the risk of radiation exposure. When Spectrum Health Innovations was able to connect me with the uh, expertise of Louis Wires, uh, an entrepreneur in the area, we were able to create a team that was able to really move things forward by having expertise in multiple different areas. His expertise in the business area, my expertise in the scientific area, and we've also added a third expertise as an engineer. Through those expertise, we've been able to create a team that is moving this project forward, uh, and we're very excited about it. It was great working with the Spectrum Health Innovations team. I don't think I could have done it without them. They pulled a lot of the different teams together, kept me in the loop, did a lot of product evaluation, and finally came out with an amazing product. It's a very easy, user-friendly team that works great with the healthcare providers to try to take ideas um, to real solutions. All staff members can trust that they have an opportunity, that if they have an idea, they can share it with the department. They don't have to have it fully fleshed out. They don't have to have the solution completely in mind. They just need to know the problem. And um, what, a great what a great benefit for Spectrum Health.